when I was little. My father was famous. People said his brain was infected by devils. Devils. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. MCMD. Finally here, ready to be filmed. You would not believe the amount of stuff I've got on my table. That's why I'm not in my corner. And I thought I'd give you a change of scenery, like my Mickey Mouse ears. Here, look. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on, because I've only got 44 minutes, 43 minutes, and yeah, too much. Right, first of all, some stuff you've probably seen in the background, um, which I've had for quite a while, but I haven't had a chance to show or forget to show. You know, I'm old, I'm old, I'm old. Um, first of all, we've got the John Wick uh, Lenticular from Nova Media. I don't know how much you can see of that. I'm trying to get it in the best light today. I'm trying to film in the best light, like natural light. So yeah, my blinds are open. But yeah, it's really dope, nice addition. It's in like a plastic full sealed case just to protect it, man. You know me, you know me. And then uh, I couldn't pass on it. It went up live again and that's the John Wick full slip I think they call it or something like that really nice artwork like a a rainbow effect on the back uh, the steel books in the side with the magazine trying to get it around that glare which is going to be a nightmare today um, yeah really really nice got number 1674 out of 1800 so yeah that's those uh, next up we will get on with let me see um, the just the normal standard pickups first of all uh, picked up HV theory of everything Oh my god, the light! Yeah, the theory of everything comes with a little snippety. And picks up Kingsman, watched this the other week, absolutely dope. Comes with art cards uh, that are inside, which is quite nice, so I haven't opened them up. But yeah, comes with uh, art cards, a little set of, I think, four it is, something like that, four or six. So yeah, that was quite nice. Like I said, comes with a snippety. Snippety dippity doo dah. There you go. Then we've got some uh, eBay grabs, but these are go eBay and Zavi and backwards and forwards. Um, yeah, I watched this a long time ago, all new and sealed. Like I said, you know me, all my purchases under five pounds. Uh, this was definitely, definitely under the three pound mark. Uh, B movie, it is what it is. I've got a kid and I'm a big kid myself, man. So yeah, the B movie. Uh, then I picked up with the slip, Madagascar 3, something that I've been waiting to drop in price. Uh, it's all embossed, I don't know if you can see that and check it out, but it's all embossed. Really nice slip on that one, there you go, you can see it. Um, yeah, all sealed up, brand, brand spanking new. Um, that's the spine, and then we've got the other spine, the, the top, um, the chewy, and the spine, and the back, that's the back, and then that's the front, that's the slip, and really, really good movie, really, really, and the spine, Smells like a spine. It's a spine. <laughs> uh, then we've got Frank and Winnie, which I grabbed. I had it on normal Amaray, but uh, some guy was selling it with the slip and the 3D, and I was like, why not? So let's grab it. Yeah, so they're cool. Uh, next, yeah, haters are going to hate. I don't care. It's Cube. It's Cube, man. What are you going to do? Ride along. This was in the Zavi sale, 2 for 10. So I grabbed this, and I grabbed Happy Gilmore, something which I haven't picked up, which I know I have obviously. Absolutely hilarious Adam Sandler movie. Um, watched this back in the mid 90s. Um, yeah, killer, killer. Uh, next up is a lovely little slipcover version of um, a steelbook I used, to own, I used to own, and that is the Enders Game, which is a lenticular, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can see a bit, man. Yeah, the Enders Game Blu-ray. Uh, I haven't seen the film because I've kept the steelbook sealed, but as this is opened off of eBay, I can now check it out. I've heard it's alright, I've heard it's a pile of shit, I don't know. Comments below. Um, another version, another version uh, of Terminator 2. This is from Amazon France. Bonjour, monsieur. 
Parlez-vous français? Oui. Yeah, it comes with a nice, like, I don't know, metallic. It's not even metallic, it's not metallic, but it's a really nice slip. So yeah, it comes in a nice black case too. So yeah, and it's uh, it's got all the free version on there. I've got the um, Play.com exclusive steelbook over there, but yeah. I just fight to grab it, man. It was nice. So yeah, Terminator 2. Stuff's gonna fall over there. Uh, then I grabbed a great movie. Um, been waiting for this to come out on blue and for me to have a chance to grab it when there's not been no new releases out, you know? And when there's no new releases, I'll try and grab the back catalog titles. Um, that's Convoy with Chris Christopherson. <laughs> if you don't know about this, it's, it's cheesy mid 80s, well, early 80s, you know, might even be late 70s. Is it, is it late 70s? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, but it's excellent, man. It's all about a bunch of truckers, and uh, yeah, it's dope. Really good. Uh, next up is a couple of movies that I picked up from Zavi in their sale, like I said, every now and then. Uh, that one is Earthquake. I remember this with the black dude on the motorbike doing the loop, the loop, and uh, yeah, it, hey man, it is what it is. It's old school and it's killer. So yeah, Earthquake. Got loads of people, man. Charlton Heston, Ava Gardner, George Kennedy, Lorne Green, Richard Browntree. Yeah, did he make fruit pastels? Yeah, there you go. Uh, then this one was from a guy from Norway or Sweden. Uh, this is Jurassic Park, but in 3D. Like this was off Amazon, no, this was off of eBay, sorry, I'll tell a lie. Um, if you search in uh, Jurassic Park, you'll probably find the seller, and this was 3 99 So yeah, if you get a chance, grab it. It's 3D, man, it's 3D. Uh, next up, we have something that um, I text uh, my boy, 4K hates Cinema HD up there, link down below. Uh, asked him if he could grab me something. I sent him the PayPal over and he grabbed it for me. Now, it was SpongeBob, the movie with the slippity dippity doo da. Can't see that, but it also comes with a great big blow SpongeBob, like a beach ball kind of thing, man. And yeah, it's, it came all packed up in like one package like that, but obviously it took me to get to the movie. I had to open it up. So yeah, that was cool, I don't care. Uh, then I picked up something from Olive Films, a classic movie. So many people I spoke to haven't heard of it, but it's so funny. I remember seeing it on VHS, so it could have been DVD. DVD, I don't know. Fled, with Lawrence Fishburne and uh, Stephen Baldwin, there you go. I was gonna say Alec Baldwin. Absolutely brilliant, there you go. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, Escape Prisoners, after some loot, I think, I haven't seen it in a long time, I can't remember, there's a locker room, there's a girl in it, and yeah, 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 yeah. pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, next up, something that I grabbed the other day, the region A locked, uh, eBay, £1.99, walk and toll the rock, can't beat that, it's absolutely kick-ass movie. Uh, then I picked up, um, let me go this way, uh, then I picked up a classic, but one that I only remember this, the, the spinning bit in it for some reason, I don't know why, Crawl, Crawl. yeah, so yeah, I'll grab that, that's a uh, Amazon.com purchase. Uh, then I picked up a brilliant horror in my eyes. So, you know the light ones that keep you and you remember them? Um, like Exorcist and stuff like that, and American Werewolf, or you know, Evil Dead, The Entity. Yeah, based on a true story. <laughs> the true story. Yeah, it's based on a true story. But yeah, check it out, man. It's um, It's got no features, it's got absolutely, well, I would, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a good movie. Um, it's got titties. Uh, picked up Jewel, even though I uh, have it in that Spielberg set that's sitting over there. But yeah, I picked up Jewel, because uh, I had it on release, I just couldn't be bothered to cancel it. So yeah, Jewel. And then I changed in my UK version and picked up the US version of Jason and the Albalors, because apparently the cleanup's a little bit better. So yeah, you can't beat that, and that goes with my other Sinbad movies I got from Twilight Time, so it's sort of like my Harryhausen set's nearly complete. Uh, then I picked up one which I didn't know was released until, uh, I can't remember the guy's name now. I'll put his name down below, there, and then his link will be down below. And I can't remember his name. Oh my God. Never mind. Anyway, 
Sorry, dude. Great outdoors. Um, what can I say? It's John Candy, it's Dan Aykroyd. It's dope, it's cheesy. You've got talking raccoons. You've got crazy ass bears with shaved heads. Yeah, it's, um, it's dope. And the guy who gave me the link, like I said, is down below. I'll get, go and check him out. I can't remember his name. I'm old, I'm old. Uh, then I picked up a few German stuff. Uh, Hamburger Hill, six euros. Had to pick that up. I think that sticker, yeah, it might hopefully, I, when I open it, it might have reversible artwork. But Hamburger Hill, can't go wrong. Classic war movie. Uh, then I picked up a great movie that I remember seeing when it actually came out. That's Charlie Thron and Christina Ricci. Ricci. Monster. Yeah, Amazon Germany. Another nice one. Quite a brutal movie, actually. Uh, then I picked up two superb movies. Only one of them is out in the US. I can't remember if it's one or two, but I picked up both of the Charlie's Angels movies. Yes, I know. It's Lucy Liu, it's Drew Barrymore, it's Cameron Diaz, it's cheesy. But damn. Uh, then I picked up, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, then I picked up something from Twilight Times, a movie which I absolutely adore, and I mean adore. I have watched this at least six times in the last six weeks. Just check my Instagram, Mississippi Burning. I absolutely love this movie. Um, brings out so much hatred and anger in me that, yeah, I don't know what draws me back to it. It's just the acting of Gene Hackman and William Dafoe, the way they bounce off each other. It's, yeah. Yes. Uh, next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little section. So if you want to forward to the still books, look at this time, wherever I put it. If you want to forward to the trades and packages and birthday gifts we've got, go to this time here. Um, so next up, we'll have a look at some of the Screen Factory titles we've got. Uh, the first one is something I forgot to add on my other update, but I showed the poster, and that is Escape from New York. Got it in a little protective baggie because I'm weird. Yep, Escape from New York, all cleaned up, shit loads of extras. Check it out. Uh, then I grabbed uh, <laughs> Motel Hell. Yep, it says on the front, I've never seen some of these, it was just cheesy, man. It takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. Comes with a slippity. And then I ordered uh, two versions of Prince of Darkness, one for a friend and one for me, my one turned up yesterday. Um, they cut, sometimes it sort of hit and miss with the slips. Um, luckily, mine came with a slip, and that's Prince of Darkness. So that's three that I've added to my, I think I'm up about, about 24 now, 25, include, not including the big Halloween box set. Uh, next up, we will do the Digibooks. Okay, this was Amazon France, and it's the Hulk Digibook, and it comes in like a plastic protective sleeve, and it's, uh, I don't know, a sort of metallic finish. Really, really nice. The green, I don't even know if you can see it, is absolutely kicking. And inside, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny digibook. Not a lot to uh, to look at, really. But yeah, it was all right. And the only thing that pissed me off was the fact that the subtitles were forced, which means I couldn't get them off. So I had to quickly nip out and buy the uh, standard UK Blu-ray disc and put it in there. That was it. Uh, then I grabbed up, thanks to 4K Cinema HD again, um, for putting it up on Twitter, I think, or Instagram. Uh, Night of the Living Dead Digibook, which I still got sealed. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the 1991, but in the meantime, this will do. Um, if you want to check out what it looks like, have a look on his video, because he does an unboxing. I'm not doing an unboxing. Uh, then, something that arrived yesterday, Insurgent. Now, I don't even remember ordering this movie. I don't even... I haven't even seen the first one, how can I watch the second? So if anyone can help me out, or let me know, or has for sale, or can put me onto a cheap link for Divergent, I believe it's what it's called, Digibook, because this is the Digibook, let me know. So yeah. And then finally, this is, oh, I love this movie. Um, the best hand cam, shaky cam, run around cam movie ever made, and the first, I think, Blair Witch Project. Absolutely gorgeous. Digibook. Um, this came from Amazon France. Amazon France, yeah. This came from Amazon France. Uh, quite a few extras on there. I don't even come on camera, focus. Yeah, quite a few extras on there. 
and um, yeah, I think it's just a brilliant movie. I really do, really, really, really do. I actually convinced my neighbour it was a real actual film, like real, and he believed it for days until I told him. Uh, next up, we have um, some movies that I've already shown as a big collection, but. Um, I haven't shown them as how I bought them, if you know what I mean, like in an update. And that is the four versions of Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, you've got the full pet slip. They all glow in the dark in different regions and different parts. You've got the Zero Dark Fighting 30 there. I've got number uh, 188 out of 2000. I had to be quick round like one o'clock in the morning on the dot. You've got the full paper slip. I think that one is there. That all glows up with a lovely little plain archive. You can check my video out. This is number 196 of 1800. Then you've got the quarter, which is a quarter lenticular. I don't know when you can see that. No, no, no. Check my video out, I made a video. Um, yeah, that was number 228 of 1200. And then this one, this is the one that glows the most. Like it glows all over the place, man. Uh, this is number 77 out of 700, so it's really low. Uh, yeah, so Zero Dark Thirty, the quad pack, and it comes with a poster, which has to be, like I said, check my video out down below. I might even put the link there. Um, then I grabbed two movies. I only grabbed the first one, and I thought, if the second one goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then I grabbed The Raid, and I absolutely love the lenticular on the front. Oh, this is a nightmare with this light. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Uh, this is number, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, 1416 of 1500, so it's quite up to the top near enough. Uh, Kimchi DVD, by the way. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then I grabbed obviously number two because it was still about. So yeah, they're both lenticular, but you can't see it in this light. It's terrible. I should, should have stayed in my corner, man. Uh, this was number 1305 of 1500. And um, yeah, I'll keep them sealed. I like the packaging, the packaging is nice. Um, right, that's that one. I think that's it. Right, now we can move on to the still books. Uh, the first still books that I picked up like are Disney ones, and that is Sword in the Stone. Really, really nice digital, uh, still book, sorry. There you go. Open, of course it's not open. Uh, then I picked up The Incredibles, long time ago. See, that's how long ago it was. Top movie. It's in my top tens of animated made a video of that as well. Check it out. Uh, as this is number one, Bugs Life. Absolutely love Bugs Life. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, really, really dope. Sorry about all that glare. Uh, then I've picked up, let me see, let me see. Okay, we're gonna shoot through these. The interview, still book, lovely finishing. A little bit of debossing on the interview. Really, really nice. Then I picked up, um, predestination on a recommendation from the visual expression uh, so yeah I think I grabbed him a copy and I thought yeah why not I'll order it see what it's about see what it's like I haven't opened it because it's not time for update but it is now uh, then I did Dead Rising Watchtower now this looks cheesy but it looks fun right up my alley zombies and it's based off the game obviously and they actually do make their own weapons and start messing up zombies uh, then a classic good morning uh, you got a little embossed microphone there. Robin Williams. God bless him. God bless your governor. Yeah, Robin Williams. Uh, then I picked up Batman 1966 movie. As you can see, this video is old. It's, it's not, I mean, I've had this like six, seven, eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that. I don't bloody know. Batman, yeah, it's nice, it's cool. It's got some good special features. I don't know. Yes, are we focused? Uh, then I picked up and I watched Chappie, which I've opened, hence why it's in a little plastic baggie. I love this movie, man. It looks amazing on my 4K TV. It absolutely pristine. Look, I can sit like this far from the screen and not see a pixel. I love it. Uh, then a new pickup, Wolf Creek. Uh, new was in Steelbook. I had it on standard Amore. Um, but yeah, had to get the Steelbook. Then I grabbed... <laughs> get up! Get on up, yeah. James Brown. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it, but it's James Brown. I like uh, soul, I like R&B, and you can't beat a bit of James. Uh, then I grabbed the Steelbook of the Crow. I've got the normal Amaray. Just grabbed it just to add to the collection. You know, I'm trying to slow down. <laughs> uh, then the 
remaster, cleaned up edition of Apollo 13 steelbook. Yep, uh, not really that many extras. It's got, I think it's got the same as the Amorite. Lucky 13, uh, the Lost Moon. Yeah, but yeah, I'll grab that one again, man. I mean, it sounds awesome in the surround sound. The bass from the, from the rocket taking off and stuff. And even the clang and the banging in, the, in space, you know, it's madness. Uh, Terminator still, but now you will see another edition of this coming up, which I'll do an unboxing of, maybe, uh -huh. uh, from Film Arena. Uh, it's got the particular posters and all that lot, but this is just a standard uh, Zabby one. Yeah, another Terminator. I don't know. Uh, then one that I didn't want to send back. I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to send it back. I probably won't even open it or watch it. Sean the Sheep? <laughs> yeah, Sean the Sheep, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's still, but it's like a magnet. Uh, then I picked up a brilliant movie which I watched three times on Sky and I had it on standard Amaray and then I traded the standard Amaray because the steelbook went down cheap and yeah, Lifeboat, this is such a good movie. For me, you know, I'm all into the action and the big blockbusters but this was obviously a blockbuster back in the day and it is, I recommend anybody to check out Lifeboat and watch it man because it's so good. I can't, I can't, it's, it is what it is, it's Lifeboat, they're in a Lifeboat, that's all I'm saying. Next up is American Sniper. Now I wanted to watch this a couple of weeks ago, but my son doesn't want to watch it and I was wondering why, and that's because he's found one of them dodgy sites where the movies are. So yeah, I know your game, boy, I know your game. Yep. Then the Supreme Gold Edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yep. Embossing, debossing on the front, and then on the back you've got Roger jumping through the bricks, that's all deboss and emboss. Uh, then I picked up another version, my third version of Big Hero 6, this is the Zabby one, this is the one I will be opening. I do have the Target exclusive and the Lenticular uh, Amaray. Uh, then obviously this is how long ago it is, the Zabby Steelbook Whiplash, I now have a, I now have an awesome edition on its way, which hopefully it might be here today, you never know, uh, of Whiplash. Uh, never seen the movie, but I watched the trailer and yeah, I was addicted, so like, we're well, not addicted that much, obviously I would have opened it. Am I talking too fast today? Yeah, Tron Legacy, another one. As I said to you, this is a huge update, man. Um, yeah, Tron Legacy. Uh, Grindhouse. I will not be opening up because I have that dope ass slip from AK Crush. Um, yeah, but these bullet holes are all debossed. It's, it's quite nice, man. Uh, then I picked up the X Men Road Cut. Of course I did. Of course I did. It's me. Focus. Yeah, X-Men Road Cup. And then finally, well second from finally for the Steelbooks, um, this came Monday, no, Saturday. Sharknado, and it's full gloss. I'm not opening that up. Listen, the movie is, it is what it is. Cheesy, it's meant to be cheesy. Fucking sharks in a tornado. What are you gonna do? They're in a hurricane or whatever you wanna call it. It is what it is. And then the dopest of them all, I think, I would say, is Ex Machina or Machina or Ex Cappuccino, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this will probably be the one I'm opening. You'll see why in a little bit. So, yeah, that's that one. Okay, so that's those done and dusted. What time are we on? 22 minutes, plenty of time. Right. Now, this is a birthday gift that was sent to me, but it didn't turn up because the, I think either Amazon lost the order or the guy that sent it to me, oh, I will say in a minute, I haven't forgotten, um, forgot to put the number on the house. We don't know, we don't know. Uh, that's Fenno 2806. And uh, it just sent me a birthday gift, just out of the blue. I was just like, no, no, what? Thank you, man, thank you so much. We've done a little sketch -a rooney It's yours. Uh, MCD, brackets, Dave. Uh, mate, apologies for the delay after the cock up with the first blues, so I reordered and I've replaced the iron. Sorry there is no birthday card in here. I think you put a card in the first one, man. Uh, it's not, seriously, not a problem at all, man. This is more than a good birthday card, do you know what I mean? Uh, gonna go with watch, watch your update now, lads. Happy birthday, hope you had a great one. Uh, your Blu-ray buddy, Adam, Fenno2806, and he picked me up uh, another cheesy out of the Saddler movie, but uh, this, Big, da uh, Big Daddy, this, uh, Happy Gilmore, absolutely superb movies. You know, Adam Sadler is best. So, Adam, thank you, man. Diamond. 
Uh, next up is a, another birthday gift. And first of all, I text her, uh, it's Big Block Blu-ray, by the way. Could be there, anywhere, anywhere. Big Block Blu-ray, I said to her, look man, there's a rare Blu-ray going on eBay in your country, can you grab it from me? He was like, yeah, of course I can. Uh, I said, let me know how much you want to pay about. I said, don't worry about it, call it a birthday gift. I was like, cool, all right, if, you know, that's really nice of you, thank you so much. Uh, and that is the Glow in the Dark Paranorman, which I now have four copies of, not of this edition, but four different copies of Paranorman. Oh, I'm just crazy, I can't help it. Uh, yeah, so he said, oh, I'll, I'll get that for you. Uh, but then he also threw in, um, Killing Them Softly, still book, or is it a, yeah, it's yeah, a still book, not a metal pack, a still book of that, and I was like, damn. And then he threw in a little note, so I was like, okay. But wrapped around all that, before I read the note, was this. The Avengers t-shirt. I don't know how far I can get it up. Yeah. Avengers t-shirt, man. Thank you so much. Your family's just off the chart. Big love to Kelly Kell and the two little bricks. Because it's big block, little bricks. Yeah, he's put, Dave, I know this package is way after your birthday, but better late than never. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you for being for becoming not only a YouTube buddy, but a true friend to me. I hope this package finds you and your family in great health. I hope your birthday was an epic one. Say hello to the wife and boy from me. Certainly will and did. Your friend, Big Block Blu-ray. He's done a little ice cream cone and some balloons. So yeah, thank you. An amazing family. Badass channel. Check out his latest update. Predator ahead, crazy. Uh, next up, we have a trade which is always ongoing. It's always ongoing. Uh, oh, Kofaruni. It's always ongoing. And that's with JB, aka the movie vlog. Uh, hey Dave, as always, it's my pleasure to help out a fellow YouTuber and a good supporter of my channel. Another amazing trade in the record book. If anything else you need up north, just hit me up. Keep up the great job on your channel. Congrats on the new milestone. The new milestone, 1,000 subs. Um, I'm, the only collection that I've been able to try and keep up with, like from number one, is the Mondos. And JB, he didn't disappoint again. Uh, he sent me the Terminator uh, normal, standard, I don't know what you want to call it, Mondo Steelbook. And the X Machina, Cappuccino, uh, whatever you want to call it which is really, really dope. And I'm not opening any of these. So yeah, I've got the those two versions now of uh, Terminator and one version of X Hot Chocolate. Yeah, but he also threw in just a random Blu-ray. I don't know if he, I don't know. I was watching this the other day. That's the bit that I don't understand. And whether I posted it, I'm too old. But he sent me the Robox movie and that's all sealed up and yeah, I mean, you know what? There's nothing else I can say about you, man. You are an absolute legend. So yeah, robots with the slip, and um, thank you so much. Really, really like that front cover. Colors are popping. So yeah, thanks, JB, Diamond. Next one, apart from the last, yeah, this is it. So we've got this and then something else. Um, hit up the visual expression again. Of course I did, of course I did. I said, can you grab me a couple of Criterions, some cry cries? And he was like, yeah, of course I can, man. So enough respect there. Big Slick, never gets old doing the usual trades. Always appreciate the help and friendship. Hope you enjoy these. Throwing in a little extra that you will like. Peace out, bro, the viz. And I was like, okay, dokey. I'll show you what you threw in. And you damn straight, I liked it. Uh, first of all, I was sitting here, pick me up hope dreams. Um, first of all, it was the artwork. Second of all, from everybody that I've spoke to, it's an absolutely amazing documentary. So. I can't, I will, these will all be open, I can't wait to watch it, so, Viz, I, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. Then I asked him to pick me up the, because we've got a standard, bulk standard, I mean like, just a movie of this edition, but this is the criterion of watch it down. I was showing this in uh, our second school, before you go up to being 12, so I must have been nine or 10, showing it as in the, in the, in the, in the cinema, like we have like a cinema area in our school. Oh my God, talk about ruining your childhood. Yeah, man, poor rabbits. And then he sent me the Fisher King. Um, I just like the artwork on that. Uh, I remember bits of the movie, but I've never watched it. So yeah, I really, really like that. And like I said, you know, it's criteria. They always come up with the business on the extras. 
And then the extra thing that he threw in, which I've kept in my little cardboard sleeve, is, I don't know how he found it, is the hip hop family tree, three in one. It's like a, obviously a hip hop comic. You can check that out. And then when you read through it, it's got like Cool J meeting Run DMC. You've got an absolutely excellent Wu. You can see that Wu Tang poster there. It's got everybody in it, man. It's got like, uh, let me see. Uh, do you remember that tune there, like the Humpty Dance? Add the 12 inch of that. Um, what else you got in there? You've got Dre, you've got Nas, you've got everybody. It's just awesome. A really nice comic, man. But then it goes, like, it's not just posters, it's actually got stories. So you've got, like, see, he's got a Ladies Love Legend in Leather, LL Cool J, and he's like bursting through the. I don't know what side it was on now, over there. Bursting through the pages. So yeah, thank you, so this I'm gonna get framed. I've got some of those little deep plastic frames that you can frame things in. Awesome, absolutely awesome. You do not know how much this means to me. And then finally, finally, oh no, tell a lie, tell a lie. Little sets that I picked up. Can't believe I forgot that. Seriously, if you could see my table. Um, first of all, I picked up the Society set. Now this, the artwork alone sold it to me. It's all embossed and debossed. It's absolutely crazy. There's bodies melted together. It's embossed on the side. It's got embossed writing on the front. It's arrow, so of course, they absolutely knocked it out of the park with the features. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've watched the trailer. I don't know, I've just, I think I bought it for the actual packaging, and that is the truth. So yeah, we got that one. Then I picked up a great little two disc set, but it's 12 movies, and you can go, MCD, watching stuff like that. I used to, go, well, I grew up on Harold Lloyd, I don't know if anybody in the UK remembers Harold Lloyd, like mid, eight, 84, 83, something like that. Might have been even a little bit later. But yeah, I picked up the Chaplin set, and this was on sale, so I had to grab it. And uh, yeah, 12 movies, two disc set, Excellent, Charlie Chaplin. And then this came yesterday, uh, Amazon Fryer and and I found, how did I find the seller? I can't remember, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, this is the World War Z set, and what I'm gonna do, if I move this to there, you'll see in here, that is what's inside it. Now, this is a real dope addition, and I thought it would be quite a high number, and I didn't even know it was numbered until Josh, my boy, pointed it out. Now there's 3,000 made and this is number 743. You can see what's on the inside on the back there, but like I said, in here, where my head is now, you will see what's inside. So that's those. Anyway, like I said, final thing is I won uh, Rue Order's 600 subscribers competition. Um, I already had what he, what I'd won, so he said like, if you want, you can pass that one down and I'll send you something else. I was like, really? He said, yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, check him out, Blue Ray Hoarder, top dog. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and he said, yeah. So I said, right, I'm after some pop figures. He said, oh, I've got this and that. And I've got the Prison Guard Walker. Absolutely brilliant, look at the detail. I'm only collecting the horror ones and the Walking Deads, but only the Walking Dead, like the zombies and the, you know. I can't go like with Grimes, and, unless you'll see it cheap. And then he sent me bicycle girl absolutely brilliant so hold a man seriously out the park send me a little note uh, MCD congrats on winning the bonus prize in the contest it was nice of you to give your prize to Evan at the disco big props to Evan at the disco because you already owned it and that was uh, Miami connection I already bought it you see uh, enjoy these two Funko Pops that you wanted. Peace, Blu-ray Blu -ray Hoarder, AKA, AKA Robbie. Uh, yeah, that's it guys. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. That's my part two of my update. As you can see, I could be here forever just picking up stuff and showing you stacks and stacks. I've got, it's everywhere. So thanks a lot for, uh, for watching. Thanks a lot for bearing with me. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, who doesn't know, it just makes me laugh. Um, thanks to everyone who's bought me some gifts and sent me stuff and helped me out with the trades and the hookups and let me know about deals. Um, 
like I said, the, the update or the, the competition is coming, you have to bear with me. Um, I've got some two good prizes already, but the main prize, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Don't be so nosy. Yeah, that's it guys. Um, I ain't got nothing else to say. This is the Movie Cave Dave channel. I'm Movie Cave Dave. Love, purpose, peace. I'm out of here. See ya! <laughs> For those that can drink, just drink and keep drinking. <laughs> I give it to your boy out the speaker. Now let me ask you guys a couple questions. You can cuss on the record. Yeah. yeah. I drink 20 40s, most 40 blunts. Instead of five mics, I'd rather have five. And then late at night, I catch a bus getting the right. Yeah. yeah. You can relax and enjoy this quality, pro quality, pro quality, pro quality.